Okay, next let's look at a training evaluation form. So this is just an example of a training eval form. So we've got there the course title, the date that the student attended, who was the trainer, and of course, the delegate's name. Now, they don't have to necessarily fill in their name. They can do this anonymously as well. But essentially, we've asked them there, please select the rating for each section based on the following. So five was the most excellent, and one, it was totally poor. Example of questions. How specific was the training to your role and to your training needs? So they give a one to five in each of these columns. How well did the program provide or refresh you with ideas, techniques and information? How was the structure of the training? The pace of the training? Was the training appropriate for your level of experience? How likely are you to recommend this course to anyone else? The trainer's knowledge of the subject matter. The trainer's ability to explain and illustrate the concepts. And the trainer's ability to answer questions completely. So each of these get a 1 to 5. Then some additional questions there is what did you like most about the training? What specifically did the trainer do well? What recommendations do you have for the trainer to improve upon? And what can be improved with regard to the structure, format, and or materials? So as I said, the delegate don't need to put their name on this. It can be done anonymously. But it's very useful to get some evaluation, both on us as trainers as well as the course material. Now, of course, you've got to consider this when it comes back. What are the things that you can work on? And, you know, there might be some things that you get feedback on which possibly may not be able to change. Example, the pace of the learning. Let's say the, the pace of the training, you only had two hours to deliver certain information because it's within the company and you are hired as an external provider to deliver exactly what they asked you to deliver. What you can do then is you can take that information back to the organization so that the next time you have the opportunity to train for them, you can ask for more time. So it's all just feedback. Remember, don't take the feedback as criticism, as negative. Take the feedback and look at it as a way of how to improve so we can be the most excellent, awesome trainer. And you know what? We're always in a learning process. And you're not going to please everybody all of the time. Some students might not give you constructive feedback because they don't want you to feel bad or they want to just be very nice. And then, of course, there'll be some other students that find it very difficult to say anything nice and they will give you a lot of feedback which might seem judgmental. Remember, this is a way for us to improve. So again, don't take it personally. So consider using a training evaluation form in your trainings. It will really help to move you forward as a trainer and help you to progress and to become a better trainer. Thank you.